This is a quick tutorial on how to get started with Java development on Windows using Visual Studio Code. If you don't already have VS Code installed, you can save yourself a lot of time by installing the coding pack for Java, which contains Visual Studio Code, the Java JDK, and all of the essential extensions for VS Code. If you do already have VS Code installed, that's not a problem either. The first step is to go to your extensions and find the Java extension pack and install that. Next, you need to install the Java development kit if you don't already have that, which you probably don't. There are two broad types of Java installations you'll hear about. There's the JRE, or Java Runtime Environment, which allows you to run Java applications on your computer or device. And then there's the JDK, which stands for Java Development Kit, which is what you need if you want to develop Java applications. If you install the JDK, that will also include the Java Runtime Environment, so you don't need to install both. So we can install the JDK from VS Code now that we have the Java extensions. Open the command palette. That's either view command palette or control shift P. And search for configure Java runtime. This Java extension guide, you can go ahead and close that. And then scroll down to install a JDK. Now there are also different JDK implementations to choose from. I recommend you install the adopt open JDK because this is free and open source. If you go to others, you can see other options. If you use the Oracle JDK, you may end up needing a commercial license if you ever end up developing business software with it. So for most of you, just go ahead and install the open JDK option. You might wanna take note of the install location here. I'm just gonna take a picture with my phone because I'm super lazy. If you need a specific JDK, you can of course download that from its website and install that instead. All right, now that we've got everything installed, we just need to let VS Code know where the JDK is installed, the path to it. And there are two ways to do this. I recommend you set the Java home environment variable. That way, anything that you install on your computer that wants to know where the JDK is, can get it from this value. So let me show you how to do that. Open File Explorer and right click on this PC, or it might be my computer on older versions of Windows, and select Properties, and then go into Advanced System Settings. And you should see a button here that says Environment Variables. And here we can create a new environment variable, either just for yourself or for everyone on your computer. So I'm gonna click new. Variable name is java underscore home in all caps. And for the variable value, I'll go ahead and browse to that directory. And I go ahead and select that JDK folder. And I found that after doing this, I needed to restart VS Code. And then if I go back to configure Java runtime, and if you click on installed JDKs, you should now see the path to that JDK that you installed. Now, if you don't wanna set an environment variable, you can instead let VS Code know directly where the JDK is installed. And to do that in VS Code, you'll open up the settings. And I'd like to switch over to the JSON view. And here you'll add a new setting with the name java.home, this time in lowercase. And you'll set that value to your JDK path. And you need to escape these slashes with double slashes. So you should end up with something that looks like this. All right, let's create a hello world program to ensure everything works. I'll open a new folder to hold this project. And let's create a new file. And I'll call it quickstart.java. So we'll have a class called quickstart and let's put a simple main method in this class. And we'll print out to console the name of this channel, learn code by gaming. And then you can run this by using the links here right above the main method. Or you can go up to run and select start debugging or run without debugging or use one of these hotkeys. So F5 or control F5. 
And so when we run it, you should see the output here in the console. And in case I've lost you, you can see these same steps by typing Java getting started in the command palette. And this just explains how to set up your workspace, how to create a class, and then how to run your program for the first time. Also, you can start a new project instead of creating a folder manually like I showed you by running create Java project again in the command palette. And for a simple project, you can do it without build tools. And then from here, you can create your new folder and select that as the project location. And then it'll ask you to enter the project name. And then this will just start you off with a little bit more structure in your project. You can see they've already given you your main method and then also a readme file. All right, if you missed anything or if anything I said was unclear, just check out the getting started with Java in VS Code article on the official VS Code website. This covers pretty much everything I've done here and I'll link to it in the description. Normally on this channel, I like to do programming projects involving video games. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. We're gonna be using Java in future projects. So I wanted to make this video so that everyone can follow along and you're all ready to go for Java development. All right, see you again soon.